What on earth is the Foreign Tax Credit Report, Form 1116? And how does it save you tax in America on your foreign earnings and income? Well, check out this video as I explain all. Okay, guys, so now what I want to talk to you about is the foreign tax credit. What is it and how do you make sure that you do not pay tax in America? So you could be an American that is living or investing in the United Kingdom or any other country for that matter. Or you could be British and still have income in the UK, but now residing in the US and you are tax resident there as well you don't want to be double taxed. So this foreign tax credit could be useful. Uh, anyone watching, could you use this uh, video? Uh, could it be useful for you if you're in a different country other than the UK? Well, clearly you can, but you just need to be mindful. I am going to be quite specific, specific put my teeth in, and you might be able to understand me. Um, so let's go through this particular form. What is it? Well, it's a form 1116. Uh, in highlight, it is a form that allows you to get the credit for the tax that you've paid in the uh, different country, basically UK from my perspective. And therefore, you don't have to be taxed in America. Or do you? And we'll have to think about that in a second. But typically, uh, you would use this for any type of foreign income, whether that's foreign earned income. And we'll talk about foreign income exclusion uh, in another video but I wanted to focus my efforts on this one because I really do think this is very useful for all those especially in high taxed countries and I will talk to you about that a little later on um, but the types of income you've got there is highlighted at the very top there so you can see for yourself I am going to go quite quickly through this video but it allows you to stop and pause and just read the material and then look at the IRS do a Google search uh, form 1116 instructions IRS that, that will give you the form to go through but this gives you a good highlight view uh, the idea behind this form is part one you would enter the name of the country uh, sorry enter the name of the foreign country or US possession and you would then put in your income so basically you would say the UK at the top or Germany France Spain wherever you are residing um, then you would put in your gross income at the top and then any expenses. Then this is a common mistake I see. People do not enter all the information correctly in here, but you would typically put in the uh, details that you can see there for expenses relating to that particular income. And then what you have then is uh, gross foreign source, source income and gross income from all sources. Why is this form asking for this information? Well, because what the IRS will want to do is say, well, actually, we're going to give you a percentage of the credit against your US tax liability. So if you've got a tax liability and you've got income from the US as well as the foreign country, then of course they're going to apply some sort of denominator. And that's what they're trying to do here. They're saying, well, if you've got £80, let's say uh, equivalent, or $80, uh, better look at it from that perspective, but $80 from the UK and $100 in total worldwide income, then you have this 80%. That 80% would be applied against your US tax liability. So that's the main thing. So you may still end up paying tax on your foreign earned uh, income, whether that's investment or employment, even though you have kind of overpaid in your view in that country. So you do have to be careful. Now, for anyone that has got uh, this whole uh, complex scenario going where you have foreign income as well as US income, you may need to do some calculations because this may not be completely uh, the best thing for you. But if you've got just foreign income, no US income at all, then the foreign tax credit uh, 1116 form is perfect for you, to be honest. It's a nice, simple form to use. I say simple. If you're American and you've been doing tax returns all your life, then this will be simple for anyone else watching these forms uh, for the first time. It can be quite daunting. So do take your time. If you're British, German, Spanish, etc., etc., just take your time. Um, 
what we then need to look at is the foreign taxes paid accrued. Uh, you have to do it in your foreign currency first and then do uh, an exchange rate. Uh, what exchange rate should you use? Well, there is a description at the top here, which is called a yearly average currency exchange rates. So make sure that you use Google to do your search for that uh, because that could be quite useful for you. Um, in this particular thing, if I go down to the United Kingdom, um, I can see that well, you've got the exchanges and it goes back several years as well But I'm of course only going to be focusing on there. But again, if you're in Spain uh, And kind of the country like that then you could use these uh, These rates and I think it's got Europe as well Okay, uh, so where do you need to move on from there once you've done your foreign? Uh, rate you then apply that with the exchange rate puts in your US dollars that then tells the IRS how much tax you've really paid and that goes into there uh, figuring out the credit enter the amount in line 8 uh, there are your total foreign income taxes paid or accrued in the category and that's typically what you would put in there how much tax did I pay in in the country and then that gives me this should flow through by the way on the natural form and then summary of tax credits, etc. So credits that you may have applied. But is this really a good form to use? Like I said, if you are in a high tax country, this foreign tax credit is going to be useful for you. I did say at the, halfway through this video is, well, what happens to the tax credits that I have not been able to utilize against my US tax liability? Well, good news, it is rolled over. So this is a, a, a very nice, simple form to help you uh, or prevent you from paying taxes to the IRS in the United States on your earned income or your investment income wherever else you are in the world. So a very, very useful form for you to, to kind of get your teeth into. Hopefully that's useful to give you a summary, but to make sure you pop over now to the IRS to have a look at the more detailed 1116 for instructions and that will give you all that you need to do and know to fill that form in. Uh, until the next time uh, video, my name is indeed Simon Mishevich from Optimized Accountants. I'll see you again very soon. Hopefully you found that video useful and interesting. Make sure that you do press that like button to help the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. But before you go, I want to share with you this video that I think you should be watching next. So go check this video out right now.